I just want to pray for Brazil. It just showed up right now. Lord, I thank you. I just saw the glory of God falling over Brazil. And this is what I hear for Brazil. For you are a nation of glory. Signs and wonders are going to be poured out. I just see radical manifestations of the glory of God. Prophet Rob, I saw limbs shooting out. Come on. I saw people getting out of wheelchairs. For this nation is not one of religion. It's one of my glory, says Come on. the Lord. I just feel like a great manifestation is happening in Brazil. Lord, I thank you that no government, that no political party, that no people, no religious system can hold down the glory ah. of God. I thank you for just a move. I just saw a move. And it's not going to just be one man or woman uh, uh, doing huge crusades, but it's going to be a movement of people. I saw huge crowds yeah. doing signs and wonders over Brazil. So if you know someone for Brazil, share this stream right now. Amen. I'll, or, tell, I'll yeah. tell you what. I'll tell you what. Um, mm -hmm. I, I believe that Pele played soccer there, and I believe he was Brazilian. I'm not 100% sure, but I kind of sensed that in my spirit. And I heard the Lord say that, that Brazil is known for two things, for great soccer players, but it's also known for their great warriors because of the Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, I am raising up the athlete in the form of a warrior that's going to come forth and bring forth a mighty victory. I heard the Lord say, he says, there is none who compete like me, for I am the undisputed champion. And he says... And I am the mighty warrior. And I heard the Lord say, I'm going to battle on your behalf, Brazil. And I am going to pull down everything that's trying to exalt itself against the knowledge of who I am. I'm going to begin to touch the young man. And I saw the uh, generation from about 12 to about 30 begin to operate in signs, wonders, miracles, and powers. God says, begin to believe it and receive it. Lay hands on your family. Lay hands on those that are hurting and watch them suddenly recover. God says, there is a fresh outpouring that's going to take place, even as there is that big statue of, a, mm -hmm. of the Messiah that's yeah. holding out their hands. God says, I'm going to begin to change the dimension of it. People are going to come there. And as they come, they're going to feel the word of God begin to drip on them. They're going to suddenly come into dreams and visions and visitation. And suddenly he says, I'm going to destroy the spirit of wow. roots of religion that have governed that nation. And now I'm going to release the power of my spirit. Get ready for an outpouring. Get ready for a fresh, remo a fresh move of revival and awakening that will take place that will cause the heart of a people that will rise up and they'll say, we will take the land. My that goodness. That is so powerful because I saw the flag and then I saw that large Jesus statue. I think it sits on a, a tower. On a high hill, yeah. Yeah, but what I saw is the hands uh -huh. and the glory of God, like fire coming out Come of it. On. And then you prophesied exactly the prophetic picture. Well, there you go. So there God you go. is doing something in this time and season. I feel like there is just significant just glory being released all over the world. Amen.